You know, this, the old issue of T.B. Joshua has been, you know, something that in the evangelical community in Nigeria, we have always known that this was a fake prophet. In fact, I recall Pastor Tudebakare describing the church as the synagogue of Satan. Also, a lot of, you know, animosity between the church and Reverend Chris Okotie. But everybody knew this in the evangelical community. And so when I came to Southern Africa, I tried to let people know that this man was fake, you know, and I could actually see people that were very sincere in their faith, you know, going all the way to the Kotun to go and visit the synagogue. And I was wondering, why would you go to that? Your spirit should be able to tell you that this person is not using the spirit of God, that this is not the spirit of God at work. You know, this is before this BBC revelation. These are things that are common knowledge. And for me personally, whenever I try to tell people that this person is fake, is satanic, and they refused to, because people were very bent that this was a real man of God, particularly in Southern Africa, I would just give up. You know, so before the BBC revelation, this is a thing that is very common knowledge, it's an open secret, everybody knows this. You know, so nobody should be deceived. And I can tell I can tell you by the Spirit of God that this particular individual was just using satanic power. And usually what will happen is there will be a day of reckoning. And you can see the sudden passing. But the real power. Is where you find is what you find in Matthew 28, verse 18. And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. The Lord also was given a shortcut. The devil came to him, bow down to me, and I'll give you all the kingdoms of this world. But they went the root of obedience, and this is why we had all power. And for us as believers, the way we demonstrate this power is by making a commitment to the Lord, is through prayer and fasting so that we can demonstrate God's power. The kingdom is not just food and drink is demonstration of the spirit and the power. We don't need satanic power because it's a first-hand bargain that will not get you anywhere. In fact, part of what you find in terms of that kind of bargain is sudden death. I don't want to go that particular route. 